Hanging space is always a problem in the bathroom, and there's none here. So we're going to fix that by making a stylish copper ladder and turn this into this. These are the tools and equipment you'll need to make your copper ladder. Once you've decided on the size of your ladder, you just need to cut up the components. But be very accurate with your measurements, because remember copper isn't cheap and you don't want too much wastage. I'm now going to cut the components using a pipe cutter. You can use a hacksaw, but the pipe cutter gives you a nice clean cut without any burrs. Clean off the edges so they'll adhere properly to the fittings. This is the first vertical of our ladder, which I'll glue to the T-junction using a two-part epoxy adhesive. Make sure you wipe off any excess glue straight away because we'd like to be able to polish our ladder when it's finished. Now that I've finished my first vertical, I need to flare the ends of my four shortest pipes so they'll fit securely in the wall fitting. Otherwise, they just slide straight off. To do that, I'm going to use a flaring tool. Now that my pipe is flared, it will stay securely in the wall fitting. I've decided to spray the wall fitting black to give it a more industrial look. To make sure the paint really sticks, I need to use etch primer first before spraying it with the black paint. I now need to glue my pipe to the wall fitting. And here's a tip. I've put a hole in a disposable cup. If I put the pipe through there, apply the glue, I now know that it will sit plumb and secure while it dries. Glue the wall pipe into the elbow fitting on the vertical. It's very important to make sure that the wall pipe sits at exactly 90 degrees and that your screw holes stay horizontal so that you can screw them into the wall. I'll now glue the horizontal pipes into my vertical to make up the rungs of the ladder. Remember, it's particularly important to make sure your ladder stays flat to the board. I've got all my rungs glued in, so now all I have to do is attach the other vertical. If you start at one end, it makes it a lot easier. And don't forget to wipe off any excess glue. Before you leave your ladder to dry, make sure you push together all the joints so they stay nice and parallel. Our ladder's now complete. But before I install it, I've got some polishing to do. And it's all ready to hang in the bathroom. Not only do we have more storage space, but a stylish new addition to the bathroom. Buddy's Warehouse!